Anyway. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Sure. Well, I agree with you, especially first half where you know it's hard to, to recognise the team. Sometimes we we weren't sharp enough, we weren't quick enough to the ball, we made passing errors, which is not something which I've seen a lot of during my time with the team this season. Our passing has normally been very good. And we were playing against a team that you know actually did pass the ball well and had, had a good shape as well. Um, so at half time, I've got to say things were looking bleak. And but I must give the, the team an awful lot of credit for the way they came out in the second half. We made one or two slight adjustments. I thought in the second half we we were much more like ourselves. And of course, in the second half, we created some really, really good goal chances. But at one stage, I was worrying it was going to be one of those games where I'd be sitting here and you'd be telling me about all the incredible misses that you th thought we'd been guilty of, and it would have cost us points. Luckily, now I can laugh the misses off because we got the two goals we needed to win the game. Uh, and I'm hoping that if we create anything like as many chances against Tottenham on Wednesday night, we won't miss them all. Well, how frustrating was that game for you? It must have been frustrating the ball was not going in the net so many occasions. It was frustrating in two, in, in, in two realms, really. The first was in the first half. I, I didn't think we were anything like what we needed to be to win the game. I thought there was lots of gaps in our game and a lot of unforced errors in our game that, of course, you can't afford to make. If you're playing a game this important that you need to win, you, you can't have that luxury, I'm afraid, of making those mistakes or not reaching that level of aggression and sharpness which is needed. I'm just very pleased in the second half the players' character shone through, their determination shone through, and I don't think in the second half people could begrudge us the fact that we, that we won the game. But looking over the game as a whole, I, I can fully understand that Huddersfield would think that given the 90 minutes, they'd have been worth getting something from the game. But we pulled ourselves together, we made one or two adjustments. I thought pushing Wilf up front and bringing McCarthy into the team definitely made a difference to our play. And it's given us those three points which we were so desperate to get today after having missed the chance to get ourselves to safer ground against Brighton. Well, you, you could probably say today, after today's result, uh, is there a task in ensuring that the seeds doesn't flatline and, mm. and fizzle out a little bit? Yeah, that's a reasonable question. That is, that is uh, obviously a possibility. I don't believe it will. And I don't believe it will for two reasons. One, what you've seen from that Crystal Palace team today, that after, by their standards, um, a, a poor first half where things definitely haven't gone their way and they definitely haven't done anything like what they were intending to do, preparing for this game, you know, in the dressing room before the game and, you know, you, the feeling this is what we're going to do and then to come in at half time with that not having worked in any way, shape or form, to then get yourself together and go out in the second half and produce that performance. That tells me I don't have to worry too much about flat lining, complacency. You know, to be honest, these days, if you're not one of the big hitters, you know, a point a game is something which you're relatively happy with um, because it, under normal circumstances, we used to talk about 40, quite often these days it's 38 points, is a, is a decent achievement. And I don't think there's going to be too many of our players in there thinking that they can now play the next seven games without getting something like a point a game. They won't need a lot of persuading, put it that way. Is there anything you can do to um, work on finishing, or is it just kind of one of those days? <laughs> we do occasionally. It's sound like my wife, you know, why didn't you get him to shoot? You know, we do, we do occasionally. You know. You know, in, my, in my last 44 years, I have done the odd shooting practice, yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. But I can't keep it in the back of the net for them. <laughs> I never could either, so that's a bit. Obviously, surviving this league is, you know, still is the priority, but is there an incentive, considering you're away from the 
we do set this season to be the first team to go to the new Tottenham Stadium or win on Wednesday. Oh, sure. It's a great opportunity, isn't it? I mean, that's a... Uh, I've got to say I'm really looking forward to it now. At half time, I wasn't looking forward to it, but it, uh, you know, uh, luckily there was a second half and a second 45 minutes, so now I'm looking forward to it. It's a, uh, it's an honour, I suppose, in some ways, to, to be granted to you. You know, you just happen to be the team, Johnny on the, Johnny on the spot. It's fallen our way. We're pleased about that. And to be fair, the level of expectation will, will definitely change. You know, we played today's game with an enormous level of expectation, enormous tension. I actually warned the players before the game that the crowd, our crowd's great. You know, they they do their very best. But the fact is, they they're worried too. You know, and they knew that if we can just win this game, it will give us a a calmer end to the season. And you felt that. You felt that on the field. You felt it coming from the crowd. And I don't blame them for it. That's going to be probably how Tottenham will feel to some extent. They're going to feel that their fans are expecting to blow us away. And I'm rather hoping that just like we couldn't blow Huddersfield away, they won't blow us away. OK. We'll just do the dailies in the corridor. OK. Thank you. Thank you very much.